we took off from Clark Field and we were headed straight west to um, Indochine at that time, which is Indochina. The French were in possession of Indochine, which became ultimately Vietnam. And we went due west uh, to a city on the coast of the Indochine called Nha Trang, N-H-A-T-R-A-N-G. It was a resort right on the coast, uh, similar to Palm Beach and so on, with palatial homes and, you know, small hotels. What year? And the year was 1952. 1952, <laughs> having gone from <laughs> Japan down to the Philippines. And then uh, we dropped four or five agents who were really local Vietnamese loyal to the French and dropped them by parachute in the suburbs of Nha Trang. And then we landed at Nha Trang for the purpose of refueling and coming back to the Philippines. Is Nha Trang in what is later North Vietnam or South Vietnam? This was in South Vietnam. <laughs> it's part of South Vietnam. And we met uh, French officers of the French Air Force who were running the field. And uh, the, the man, the officer in charge of operations there said, why are we running back so fast? Why not stay overnight and uh, enjoy the attributes of Nha Trang? We can put you up in one of these. Did you? Yeah, so I, I um, polled my crew and the unanimous result was we would stay. So we stayed overnight in this nice three-story building, um, which we used. And, and at that time, maybe in all times, and sleeping in a bed meant also having a net netting Mosquito. over the bed to protect you from flying in Mosquitoes, flies, mosquitoes, and so on. Um, and uh, in the, the evening, however, we spent at the officers club with the French officers. Did they know your mission? And uh, they, um, they uh, treated us with drinks and dinner. Did they know what mission you had been on? What machine? Mich mission. Mission. Mission, he said. Yes, they knew and because they had to prepare for us to f refuel us. And uh, we had a nice evening with them. And the uh, next morning we got up, went to the airport, and t took our plane, flew it back to Clark Field. What type of airplane? It was a C-46, the, the commando, the uh, Curtis commando. Um, and we uh, went back to the Philippines, and we were stuck there for about four or five days because of weather in order to fly back to Japan. How far a flight is it? The, uh, the Philippines, um, Clark Field to Indochine was 400 miles. Uh, I think it was about... Uh, two and a half hours of flying. And to Japan? And to Japan from the Philippines was much more. It's like... Uh, Your plane could make it in one We hop? made it in one, in no stop. What's the range on the C-46? I've forgotten. The range about. was about uh, eight, nine hundred miles. Oh, so, oh okay. Um, Did you ever know what the people you dropped did? No, whatever happened to them and whether they made made uh, 
had good results on their mission, we don't know. We didn't know. Our function was just to deliver them, period. Were there any other Americans in Vietnam then, or no? No, there may have been a, a liaison officer working at uh, Nha Trang, but uh, I don't remember any. Why didn't the French just drop their own, use their own airplanes and drop them? I don't know. These agents were, we picked them up in Clark Field in the Philippines. Oh. Uh, you know, they, they came on a plane and we, as soon as, as, soon as we reached Vietnam and uh, the, the suburbs of Nha Trang, we dropped them. Did they, were they French people, the Vietnamese people? No, they were Vietnamese. They weren't French. Were they armed? I'm sure they were. Hmm. I'm sure. Okay, just state your name and rank for the record. Pardon? State your name, rank, and serial number for the record. At that time, I was, uh, it's uh, Seymour F. Bernstein. I was the first lieutenant in the U.S. Air Force, um, and that was it. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. <laughs>